You make the beats, I fix them. This beat's from Flix. Now let's get right into it. I mean, you got everything there. It's just too repetitive. And I give a lot of people this feedback that their beats way too repetitive. And this is kind of what I mean. Like if you look here, you got these, what is this? This is like what? One, two, three, four. You got these same 11 patterns going on for almost the entire beat. The drums basically never change. Let's sauce it up. Honestly, like a, throwing in a different 808 at times might be the move, but we need someone with like to kind of blow your face off. I feel like we could literally just take this, move it here, and that would go hard. And then you want to put the cut by itself on the same number for the two 808 so that they cut when they each start. Also, this 808 just, it's not hitting enough. We need to boost this, punch it through the roof, bro. I want to add a bit more like I like what we're doing, but we could definitely kind of just go a little bit harder with this. If you have this note here, I don't want to take away from what you're doing too much. All right, the patterns are good. Like you got some good sound selection for the most part. This might be the easiest beat fix we've ever had. That's beautiful. Of course we have the no lie snare. So you're kind of spamming that open hat. But it works! This is just like an arrangement issue. It's not even a skill issue at this point. I kind of like coming in with everything. Like I like that idea, but I think we should kill some stuff off pretty quick. We could kill all this. Then we could do like a kind of a snazzy cut in here. That just adds like a little bit more diversity. I kind of just want to take something out of the melody. And then bringing everything back here is kind of okay. I don't want to bring everything back. Yo, also that no lie snare is stupid loud. Still stupid loud. Yo, chill. I feel like it would be nice to kind of just cut here. And then we can just go back into everything and it, it's hard, you know what I mean? And now you change up the melody here, which I like. I like what you do. You have this nice lead. Everything's good, but it's just too busy. Like the drums are taking up all the space. Also, I like what you're doing with the clap, but I think here it would be good. It would benefit everyone. If you just kind of took this out, you didn't do as much. Maybe even with the hi-hat too, you can make this unique. I was struggling to find the make unique button. Like that, that is just kind of bouncy now, jeez. And then here you can kind of bring in a little bit more. We don't need this, like you don't need to bring in a whole lot more. Even just, um, actually I want the open hat. Like just bringing in that kind of adds a lot more energy. Like it's nothing major. You just kind of play around with it, cut things out, just mess around, bro. Yo, 
By the way, the 100K subscriber mega kit is out now. There's 150 sounds in it. That means drums, that means one shots, that means whatever you could possibly need to make a beat from start to finish. So go get that now. There's a link down in the description below. This next beat comes from Anton Sturtman. Anton's been making beats for about six months and he feels like this is one of his better beats. Now let's give it a listen. What is happening with your 808? Why is it doing that? You just got, you got default soft clipper here. Everything is looking fine. I just, I think it's your 808. Like I get it, it's a spins 808C. Not all spins are created equal though. Oh, oh, I see. You just got like an absurd amount of low end in whatever this is. Look at this actually. This is all low end. That's gonna fight with the 808. You need to cut that out so it doesn't clash with the 808 as much. Now we can make this melody quieter because it's pretty loud. Um, I mean, this clap is okay, but I'm not a huge fan of it. And this clap is pretty intense, so like we can just turn it down a bit. Yeah, no, I don't really like this hi-hat either. We're doing things that I'm not crazy about. Also, this pattern, I, I, I really don't like this. Like, I see you're trying to add bounce by cutting stuff out, and that's good, but you're cutting a little too much out. What's this? Ooh, yeah, personally, I don't like that open hat sample. I feel like something like this would kind of fit what you're going for a bit more. And then it's also kind of loud. And it would sound really good if we just kind of brought it down a bit. Now I'll just give it more of a darker vibe. Ooh, what? What? That's kind of saucy. I actually, I really like your use of this perk. That's, that's really good. Now, what is this? This is a kick? Why? Why does your kick sound like that? That's not a good kick. That is really not a good kick. By the way, you can get this kit in the crisis bundle only on presetsupply.com. Okay, you're doing like a weird pattern with your 808. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I think we can just kind of move this over. I think this will sound better. This is on the G, we could kind of go down. It just feels a little bit more suspenseful. And this structure I'm not crazy about. Yeah, I would rather bring in the hi-hat here. What is this supposed to be? Yo, leave that in, that's kind of nice. Kind of make it a little bit more ambient just by cutting out most of the high end and the low end.
I'm gonna make you a melody bus because I just want to EQ the whole melody together. It feels like that low end is kind of just busy in general. Like it's not too busy, but it's a little noticeable.